This is Jake. Jake had a problem. Inside, his heart was dirty with sin. Whenever Jake sinned, a dirty mark was made on his heart. One day, Jake was making a paper mosaic craft for school. He got tired of cutting up all the little pieces of paper, so he decided to use his mom's blender to cut the paper. He knew his mom wouldn't want him using her blender, but he did it anyways. Jake sinned by disobeying his mom. Jake put the paper in and started the blender. It didn't work very well, and the blender ended up catching on fire. Jake panicked and quickly shut it off, but then his mom came in. When Jake's mom asked him what had happened, Jake lied and said his little brother, Edward, had broken it. Jake sinned by lying to his mom. Jake's mom didn't believe him, so she sent him to his room. Jake was very angry, and he stormed into his room and slammed the door. Jake sinned by being angry at his mom. While Jake was in his room, he realized his problem. His problem was that to go to heaven, Jake's heart has to be perfect. With even one single dirty mark on his heart, one single sin, Jake can't get oh, into no. heaven. You see, God is holy. That means he's completely perfect. He's so perfect that he can't allow even one sin to be near him. But all of us, like Jake, have sinned much more than just one time. Sin can't be with God, and so because of our sins, we're separated from God. The punishment for sin is death and separation from God. Jake knew he couldn't go to heaven oh, yeah, if he yeah, had yeah, sin yeah. inside of him, so he had to figure out a way to get rid of the sin in his heart. He thought that maybe if he did a lot of really good things, it would make the dirty spots go away. Jake decided that he would apologize to his mom, then help her clean up the mess and be really nice to his brother. Those are all good things to do. He tried really hard, but it didn't work. Nothing worked to make the spots go away. No matter how hard we try to do good things, there isn't anything we can do to make our hearts clean. There's nothing we can do to fix the problem of being separated from God. Jake was really upset and he started crying. Jake's mom saw him and asked what was wrong. He told his mom how he knew he'd sinned and it didn't matter how many good things he did because those things couldn't get rid of his sin. And because of sin, he deserved to die and be separated from God. Jake's mom understood but then she said there was one way to fix the problem. It was something she did when she was a little girl. Jake's mom said that when she was a little girl, she also knew she had a dirty heart. But then she learned about Jesus, God's son. He came to earth about 2,000 years ago. He lived a perfect life and his heart was 100% perfect. He never did anything wrong. He never sinned or broke God's law. We call this righteousness. Jesus came to earth and lived a perfect life to give us a way to be saved from our sins. We, because of our sins, deserve to die and be separated from God. But Jesus is perfect, and he did not deserve to die because he had never broken God's law. But Jesus chose to die because it was the only way to save us. Jake's mom told Jake that when Jesus chose to die, he wasn't paying for his own sin because he didn't have any sin. But he chose to die, so if we accept his gift, he would pay for our sin. Jake's mom explained how because she believed in what Jesus did for her, her sin was paid for by Jesus on the cross. And Jesus then gave her his righteousness. Now she was without sin, not because of anything she did, but because of what Jesus did. When we believe in Jesus, he takes our sin and pays for all the bad things we have done. Our sin is completely paid for, and now we have Jesus' righteousness. The Bible talks about this in 2 Corinthians 5.21, saying, For our sake he made him to be sin, who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Jake's mom then told him that someone has to pay for sin. Jake could either pay for it himself and be separated from God forever, or he could accept God's gift and Jesus pays for his sin completely. Jake decided to accept God's gift and receive Jesus' righteousness in exchange for his dirty and marked up heart. Now, Jake has Jesus' righteousness. He was righteous. Jake no longer had to be separated from God because of his sins. Jesus had paid for all of them. Now, he had become God's child and was no longer separated from God. What about you? If you believe in Jesus and what he did for you, your sin is replaced by Jesus' righteousness and you become God's child. But it's a choice we have to make. If you would like to learn more, be sure to check out some of our God's gift videos. We'll see you next time. Bye!